the store we sell um, premium rug hooking supplies, quilting supplies. We have patterns and books. We do, we have punch needle supplies, yarns, um, things like sari ribbon and things like that. So some of the supplies are things that we use in rug making or in quilting, but they can also be used in, in other things by people also. My company is Linen Closet Designs, and so I, I design quilts. And so sometimes those are uh, produced as patterns for my company, sometimes they're in a book. I do magazine work, um, and then I design fabric, and then I travel, and I travel to teach classes and I do trunk shows for that. So it's all that same business, yeah. You're gonna teach me a technique mm -hmm. today called applique. Right, and it's needle turn applique. It's needle turn applique. I am the laziest quilter that you will ever meet. <laughs> so I always look for the easiest way to do things. And so I find that needle turn applique is the easiest. And so like you could do something like this. So we're gonna trace this onto a piece of freezer paper and you're gonna trace on the paper side. And so if I had to make eight of these, I only have to trace one on the freezer paper because I can use it over and over again. I'm not gonna do a super great job here because this is just, you know, kind of a demo. But you would trace your shape and then you would cut it out on the drawn line. So you've traced your piece onto your freezer paper. Then you're gonna lay it on the right side of your fabric with the waxy side down. Run your iron over it and you see how easy it's that stuck. is? That's right. And then you're gonna trace right against the edge of that. So you know exactly what your shape's supposed to look like. Then I'm gonna cut out and leave a little bit of a seam allowance. Mm -hmm. So then you've got your seam allowance, so then when you pull it off, you know exactly what your shape's supposed to look like, okay? So here's my needle, and I'm gonna take, with by holding my thumb here, then I'm gonna take this, and you see we've got that line drawn, and I'm just gonna turn that under, okay? Yeah. She makes it look so easy. And so you're gonna go straight down and in, in just into your background, right next to your piece. Yes. And then you're gonna rock that up into that fold. And then you rock that right back up. And so your thread won't show because where it came out of your piece, you're going right back down and then you're coming up into that side. So you're gonna do it now. Bring your needle up from behind your piece. Perfect. Just bring that up because you're just getting it set. That's just my start. Yep. Yeah. Rock it up into the fold. Perfect. Get a couple ways. Yeah, and then you just get more adept and comfortable and then you won't have to think about it. Right now, you're, you have to think. Oh, I have to think you know? a lot. What would your recommendation be for somebody who's who's wanting to get started in quilting, wanting to get started in that? Mm -hmm. is, there, is there a simple startup, a, a certain pattern or fabric you know, or way to do it? I always tell people, don't look for something that's simple. Look for something that you like, something that you want to do, because then you're going to do it. It should be, always be about the journey and the doing rather than an end result. This is a place where you can actually do classes for... Yes, yes, we, we do classes um, for rug hooking and we do classes for punch needle and we do quilting classes. And um, in addition to that, when the, sh the shop is open, anytime the shop is open and we don't have a class going, people are more than welcome to come in and sit at the table and bring in whatever they wanna work on. So, you know, it's, it's truly a community and it's a, and we all want to be a part of the community. So regardless of what you're, if you're a rug hooker, if you're a quilter or whatever, you can bring your stuff in mm -hmm. and you can come and sit. For that matter, if you're crocheting, you can come in and sit with your, you know, and people can, you know, sit and share together and work. Well, I know you're, you're a teacher at heart for this stuff. So I thank you for taking yeah. on your toughest student that oh, you've had so far. You have no <laughs> idea what a toughest student is. Watch the full episode or explore more unique places on the Missouri Life YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with the latest content.